All right, thank you so much, Wayne. Well, it's been of an off year for both teams some of the times, but still a huge game tonight. Andrew's here to tell us all about it. And, of course, I'm talking about um, Florida and FSU. Yeah, and certainly some things to play for. Mm -hmm. Bragging rights, of course. Of course. But, yes, you know, there's uh, the bowls, streaks, you know, all things uh, going on here. This one, you know, what really wasn't a pretty game. If you're on one side, uh -huh. it was a very pretty game. <laughs> if you're on another side, uh, Florida took an early lead in this game, uh, ending the first quarter up seven to three. John Brantley passed to Robert Clark for an early touchdown, and you know Florida had the lead at that point. But th that was it for Florida highlights right there. They turned the ball over four times, while FSU took control of this game. Christian Ponder threw for three touchdowns. FSU beat Florida for the first time in seven tries, dating back to 2003, 31 to seven. Jeff Butera live in Tallahassee with what has to be a very happy Knowles home crowd, Jeff. Most definitely, Andrew. I will say that home field matters because if you look at the stats, Florida State has now won about half of the games here at Doe Campbell Stadium, only about a third when they actually play in Gainesville. And they had the crowd today. I was looking at the stadium. I'd say probably three-quarters of the fans were Florida State fans. There were some Gators here. Some of them, in fact, gasped, hanging out with Knoll fans. <laughs> Garnet and gold just doesn't match orange and blue. But sometimes outside Doe Campbell Stadium Saturday, you could see those colors walking side by side, clearly clashing. And you went to? University of Florida, go Gators. And you went to? I'm a senior here at FSU, go Knowles. These are sisters who like to rib each other. FSU, where the girls are girls and the boys are too. Gator fans wear jean shorts. But both sides apparently wear face paint. These two are married. Did she help with that? Um, in the beginning, I did it all, and then she come back and touched it up. So. Isn't that sacrilege to help with that? <clears throat> I tried to put some garnet and gold on, but he it wouldn't let me. It ain't working. <laughs> it ain't working. See if she's doing that after the game. Talk about a family divided. Dad's a knoll, mom's a gator, and they're pulling their three kids their way with a whisper campaign. Seminoles. <laughs> what what Seminoles. Doesn't appear to be working. She pretends she's a gator so my wife doesn't get upset. Uh -huh. I've got them in orange and blue, and I don't know after this game if I'm going to be able to keep them that way. Just love. <laughs> Maybe one day Justin and Noel will have a divided family too, split during a Gator Knoll game. It's a special day, I guess. She had no idea how special until she got inside the stadium. One play into the game. This Gator proposed to this Seminole. Love triumphs over football. She said yes. And tonight we actually have the happy couple right here, Justin and Noel, newly engaged. Interesting about the engagement ring. Let me make sure I get this right. It has parts of your mom, grandmother, and great-grandmother's engagement ring as well. Let's go ahead and see it. It's underneath some gloves. It's cold out here right now. Take a look at this ring. Congratulations to them. Also for Justin, instead of the day that his Gators get throttled by Florida State, it is now the day that you are now engaged to your lovely Very future true. bride. I have something to take with me to smile about. <laughs> Very good. Congratulations to them. We are live in Tallahassee. I'm Jeff Butera, ABC Action News. Jeff, great stories out there. Well, back to Andrew. So, Andrew, what did this win mean well, exactly? For her, it meant a lot. I know. Half of the day. <laughs> I know. I'm <laughs> bragging rights, I guess, primarily is what it comes down to, according uh, to Jeff there. But for Florida, they dropped to 7-5, and five, so it certainly will hurt what bowl they end up in. For FSU, uh, aside from what happened in Tallahassee, they actually had a really good day. It looks like, because Maryland is about to beat NC State, so that means FSU will actually play for the ACC Championship next week. If Maryland holds on, which it looks like it will, we'll have much more coming up in sports. A big day if you're a Knowles fan. All right, thanks, Andrew. We look forward to seeing you in a little bit.